Hello, in this video I'm going to explain a method of sharpening your photos using the high pass filter. And this is a great technique for really crisping up those details in a natural looking way. And the other great thing about it is we can use it selectively over different areas of our image. So for example, there's really no need to apply sharpening to this expanse of blue background here because then all we'd really be doing is amplifying the image noise. So instead we can apply the sharpening just to the areas that need it which is this portion here at the front of the lovely dandelion here. So let's get cracking. We'll go to our layers panel first of all so we can bring this up by going to window layers here in Photoshop CC and let's bring my layers panel over here. I'm going to duplicate my background layer because I want to apply sharpening to a separate layer so I can preserve my original image. So I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, Command or Control and J will duplicate the background layer to give me a copy there. I'm going to double click the layer name there and we'll call it Sharpen. And I'm also going to right click the layer here in the Layers panel and I'm going to convert it to Smart Object because that way we can apply the high pass filter non-destructively and tweak the strength of our sharpening effect if we like. Next we're going to go to the blend mode drop down here at the top of the layers panel where it says normal and we're going to change this to overlay. Now what we'll temporarily see here is a real change in contrast with our image but we'll address that in a second when we apply the filter so we don't need to worry about that for now. And it's always a good idea to judge sharpening with your image viewed at 100% so that we're seeing the actual pixels on screen. And to do this really quickly, we can just double click the zoom tool here in our tools panel, which will jump us to a 100% view. And then we can, of course, hold the space bar and drag around to find a point where we can judge the sharpening around about here. Now, let's go into the high pass filter. So we can go to filter and we'll go to other down here and then you can see we have high pass and now notice in this little box here you can see we have like a, a grey version of our image if I just zoom out a little bit and this gives you an idea how the high pass filter works it, it effectively separates our image into high frequency details which are the sharp parts and low frequency details which are the uh, grey parts so everything else so we can use the radius to control what is included and what is excluded. So we can just tweak this and the stronger the radius settings here, the stronger our sharpening effect. So let's try about 3.7 here and hit OK. And now if we go to our layers panel here and toggle that layer off and on, you can see it gives us a real shift in crispness here. So we're really sharpening up those details. And in fact, I think we could possibly push it slightly further. And the great thing about converting our layer here to a smart object is the filter is applied as a smart filter, which means we can double click it here in the layers panel where it says high pass to re-enter those high pass settings. So let's bring it up slightly higher. So around about 4.2. And this setting here will depend on the resolution of your image, the content of your image. So it's worth just experimenting with different radius settings to find one that works for you. So now we've applied our high pass filter, let's zoom out to full screen with command or control and zero. And what I'd like to do now is make it work selectively just over those areas that matter. So to do this, we can start off by using a quick trick to select the sharp parts. So we need to target the background layer for this. So I'll highlight that in the layers panel. Then I'm going to go to select and focus area. And this gives us a really swift way to select the in focus areas of our image and we can just adjust the in focus range here so let's perhaps drag that all the way to zero so nothing is selected at the moment we can hit f here to cycle through different selection views and i think i quite like the uh, pink overlay here it gives us the best view and then i can drag and as i drag the in focus range across you can see certain areas start to become selected so i'm going to drag to a point where we get all of those sharp areas selected that's possibly too far and we exclude all of the softer areas so i'm happy with that we can set the output down here to selection and then hit ok then we can highlight our sharpen layer and we can click the add layer mask icon here at the bottom of the layers panel and that will convert our selection into a layer mask so you can see now 
we have a layer mask attached to that layer and anywhere in black is going to be hidden anywhere in white is revealed so we've effectively restricted the sharpening effect just to the in focus areas of the image and if we zoom in a little closer now you can see how we get that sharpening effect over the center there but it's not affecting any of these soft areas around the edges here now focus area command isn't perfect and there are a few patches here where it's kind of included these soft areas in the background so we can always highlight that mask thumbnail there grab the brush tool we can set our foreground color to black here and then we can just paint with black to fine tune our layer mask just so that we kind of exclude all of these little gaps here from the effects of the high pass sharpening so we can carry on just working around these soft areas and excluding them and fine tuning our layer mask until we're happy. So there we go, that's how to use high pass sharpening to selectively sharpen your photos.